Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, another quick Azure DevOps video. Uh, in this video, we will be creating our first service connection. I mean, we have already created in our previous projects, but we will teach you how to create your first service connection. So a service connection is a, a connection between your Azure DevOps uh, uh, you know organization or the project and uh, your azure uh, subscription uh, it can be subscription or a particular resource group uh, you can either create it uh, automatically uh, i mean the recommended automatic one or you can do it manually so we'll look at all the options and we will create our first service connection we will connect this project which is python app to our azure subscription and a particular resource group where we want to deploy our resources so let's go ahead and create our service connection click on create service connection these are the options available for your new service connections have a look uh, wherever you want to you know connect your azure uh, project you can create for that like for sonar cloud uh, for your chef for your github uh, we will be obviously doing azure you know so yeah for azure we will be creating one uh, you can create for sonar cloud as well like if you want to use sonar cloud for your static code analysis you will need to create a service connection for now let's just do the azure resource manager there are four ways to do it four ways for authentication the service principle automatic the manual managed directory and published profile so the, rec the recommended is the automatic one so let's select that the scope level select uh, i have selected my subscription I'll sign in with my credentials. So I'm signing in to my Azure subscription. I'll verify my account. Uh, it has sent me a code. I'll just get the code and first I need to provide my email ID, which is where I'll receive my code. So this is just the uh, you know usual uh, multi-factor authentication. This kind of a setup that I have, you should always have it. So I'm just authenticating uh, into my Azure subscription. Uh, let me... We have signed in. Now we need to select our resource group. So I've already created a resource group where I want the service connection to have access. So this is the way I'm dealing with, you know, uh, accessing my Azure subscription. I don't want uh, my service connection to have like very high level privileges, uh, like at the subscription level. So I'm trying to restrict it as much as possible. So I'm just giving it to a particular resource group. Give a name to your service connection and then uh, grant access permissions to all pipelines. Click save and uh, you, it will at the background create it. So what uh, I want. Uh, what I am doing here is I'm just giving permissions at a resource group level. So this keeps my, uh, you know, security at check. And if I want to give other permissions to this particular uh, uh, service principle uh, or the service connection, you can do that from your Azure subscription. I'll show you how to do that. So when you create this service connection, this service connection will have contributor access on that resource group so this is successfully created we have named it python service cnxn that is your python service connection let's manage our service principle login to our azure subscription this is your spn the service principle these are the details you can rename it if you want but i'll leave it as is you can rename it here but i'll leave it as is if I go to my resource group, let's go to IAM, access control, role assignments. And there you see the fitness geek org Python app uh, and it has got contributor access. If you want to give it any other access, exa for example, if you want to, you know, assign owner, you can just use that service principle and assign it the owner permissions at the resource group level. So that was the quick video on service connection. Uh, please do like, subscribe and share this video if you liked it. Thanks a lot.